Hello, let's get straight into it. So we got our damp hair and go ahead and use your favorite hair protectant and spray it all over your hair so that there's no damage from the heat that we're about to put on our hair. So I like using this one. This is by Tresemme and I spray it on really generously. Then grab your hair dryer and just dry your hair by tousling your hair like this. I like to do this until my hair is like slightly damp and then I'm gonna bring the brush. So until then, just kinda like, you know, shake off your hair like so and dry up your hair. Grab a paddle brush like this one and start brushing and drying your hair to the side like so. And as I'm drying, I make sure to brush the hair towards my face versus the back. And what this does is it adds so much volume in the crown of your hair. So I've been using this technique for years. I know some ladies, you guys, you flip your hair upside down and dry it that way. You're gonna see me do that later on in the video. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just dry it this way. And from the root to the end, I'll just um, brush it and dry it like so, just to make sure it's not super frizzy. But I'm not aiming to straighten my hair. I'm just trying to keep like the flyaways at bay um, while adding a ton of volume. So look at that. It's like va va voom. Grab one of these spiral hair ties. These are great because it won't leave a crease in your hair. And grab about three fourths of your hair and tie it up. And I love using this T3 curling wand. I think the thickest part is about one inch and it tapers down to uh, maybe half of an inch. And I'll section out my hair by about one inch and start curling away from your face. The tighter your hair is on the wand, the curlier the curl is going to be. So if you are looking for more of a beachy wave, which I'm kind of aiming for the middle, then loosen up the curls on the wand. I keep my hair on the wand for about five seconds. I don't like to overheat because um, I don't find that it's necessary and I set the temperature on the wand for 380 degrees. Section out another portion of your hair and tie the rest up to your crown. Now here's my little trick. I'm gonna take one to two sections and curl away from my hair, or my face I mean, and then I'm gonna take the third piece and I'm gonna curl it towards my face. What this is gonna do is it's gonna add a lot of volume and add dimension to your curls and your waves. And so you could get creative with this. You could do one piece towards your face, one piece away from your face and keep going with that or you could do two away from your face, one towards your face. It doesn't really matter. It's as long as you kind of mix it up when you're in this section of your hair while you're curling. Now take one portion of the back of your crown and section that out and then the rest you're going to tie in the front of your head and then keep curling. It doesn't matter which direction here as long as you're just curling that little section and this designating this area is again going to add so much volume to the back of your hair and curl in different directions just so that there's different dimension. And then for the rest of your hair you're going to see I'm going to take it and section it out um, little by little. So like little slivers, I guess. And then from those, I'm gonna split them into two and then curl away from my face. Now 
Now, if you like parting your hair on a certain side, this is the time to do it. So if you wanna keep it on the left side or the middle or the right, go ahead and part your hair and start curling away from your face and um, away from the part so that you could keep your part intact. I personally like to keep my part close to the middle and then I play around with it. And you're gonna see that towards the end of the video. So just keep tuning in and you're gonna see how I work with the madness of this voluminous hair that you're about to see almost complete. So keep on curling until the end. This step is totally optional, but I love to take a little bit of hairspray and spray on the top portion of my hair and towards the ends of my curls, just to keep my curls lasting much longer and to keep that volume way up high. This is my favorite hairspray. It's called Big Sexy Hair, and you can pick it up anywhere. I think I've seen it at Walgreens or CVS, and look at my waves, holy moly. And this is the last step. I'll just go ahead and tousle my hair left to the right, right to the left, and start separating the curls um, just so that it's much looser. And I just play around with it just to see like where I want my curls to be positioned and where I want my part to be as well. So this is where I originally parted my hair from the beginning of the video. Um, but if you're not happy with that side, you could just go ahead and move you know, your hair to another side and just keep teasing your hair and play around with it until you are happy with where it's at. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you later.